Okay, everybody, I'm going to take apart this TV. It's a Soyo. I'm not sure what year it was made. It's a flat screen TV. I've never taken a flat screen TV apart, so this should be interesting. Okay, the, interest, the inside of this TV is pretty interesting. So I'm guessing this is the board that goes to the LED, uh, LCD screen or LED screen on the front. Got some pretty heavy duty heat sinks. Uh, got these little strip bars, these supports. I guess that's what holds the weight if you decide to mount it. This is the board to all the audio in, video in ports on the bottom here. We got two speakers, which I'm always excited about speakers. And I'm not sure, I guess this is the receivers and the uh, connections. So yeah, this I guess this does all the work and sends it to the graphics card, which sends it out to the screen. And then this actually sends it into the processor. So yeah, interesting. I'm gonna take it apart. We have some, a few decent boards to pull out, and uh, yeah, let's do that. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to have to get the uh, macro lens so I can show you the LEDs on here. I mean thousands and thousands and thousands of them and the way they're separated by each of these uh, little paths, pathways from the circuit board and they're grouped in sections. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. I thought maybe I'd be able to get these standoffs. I would love to have a whole bunch of standoffs, but it looks like they're all welded to the board. I can't turn them. I might be able to peel off this monitor, but I'd hate to do that because there'll be a lot of glass everywhere. Um, but they're not coming loose. So I, I'm pretty sure they're welded on somehow, either with liquid, liquid weld or even just tacked on with a uh, welder. All right, so I got a good bit of interesting circuit boards. A lot of capacitors, I mean, really like that coil. I uh, really like these heat sinks. There's a bunch of heat sinks, a bunch of regulators in here. So those will probably all come out. This was the push button for the on off switch and the volume. And so a bunch of push buttons on there. I don't think I need these, but it's a neat little strip. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight heat sinks in this thing, so 
and a whole mess of these regulators. I'm gonna pull those out. Pretty big capacitor. Some really big ones in this one. Huge capacitors in that. Look at the dust on those. Yeah, I'm gonna take a few pictures of these before I take them apart. And I'll take them apart another day. The boards are really neat. Okay, two more speakers. This was the bottom strip, I guess the cross controller. I'm not sure what they're called. The um, antenna for the tuner, I guess, built in. There's all the AV cables and the serial cables, USB. There's a firewire, not a firewire, a HDMI connection. So those will all be useful, I'm sure. It's an interesting coil. So yeah, I had fun taking this apart. I hope you have fun watching it. Have a great day.